Welcome to Finnish Lapland. Yes, it's expensive, but maybe not as much as you think. We can give you money-saving tips and you can learn from our mistakes. And not just financial mistakes. Getting locked out naked in the freezing Arctic and an eye injury when viewing the Northern Lights. But first, a quick look at some of the highlights of our trip. Santa breaks to finish Lapland are really expensive. We spent less on our 11 night trip than what we were quoted for a three night break. Our trip wasn't cheap, but by doing it all ourselves, we definitely got better value for money. If DIY doesn't appeal though, there is another way to avoid the hefty price tag of the package Santa breaks, which we'll go into later. Now, before we delve into the details of our trip, let's take a look at our journey. We flew from Manchester in the UK to Rovignami the official home of Santa Claus. After two nights there, we headed to Luosto for a two night stay with a visit to the Amethyst Mine. Then we drove to Levy, a beautiful ski resort where we spent six nights before heading back to Rovignami the night before our flight home. When you go to Finnish Lapland has a big impact on price. Most people want to go before Christmas, but that means higher prices and more crowds. The highlight for children is often the snow rather than Santa. So a word of warning. Those cheaper flights and package holidays in November might seem tempting, but there's a possibility of no snow. And even if there is snow, there might not be enough for some of the activities. You can maximise your chances though by going to the most northern resorts. Usually you'll be fine for snow from mid-December. January and February are great times to visit. We went just after Christmas, but still in the school holiday, and we thanked Santa for our presence. Our first stop was Santa Claus Village, and we loved waving at family watching live via the webcam back in the UK. Santa Claus Village is free to visit, but it's quite commercial. As is Rovignami itself, it's a city. It's best to go as early or as late as you can, as the queues can get quite long. We chose to visit Santa here, and it's free. He's a very busy man, so can often only chat for a minute. You can't take any photos or videos with him, but you can buy them. Our photo costs 35 euros. There are other places to see Santa in Rovignami for a fee. We didn't do any of the paid for activities at Santa Claus Village, as we wanted a more authentic experience elsewhere. We did visit Santa's post office and sent a postcard home with an Arctic Circle postmark. You can ski in Rovignami, but we just did a bit of sledging, as Levy is better for skiing. Our next stop, Luosto, was a straightforward hour and a half drive. We tried to drive in daylight, but that's really only from 10 till 3 in midwinter. We paid over 1,000 euros for an 11 day hire. I think we could have saved a bit there if we'd booked earlier. Our main reason for visiting Luosto was the amethyst mine. We were picked up by a snowcat and taken to the mine through some gorgeous scenery. It's like Narnia. They look like creatures. There are some great views from the top. Sadly, it wasn't the clearest of days, but it was still beautiful. After a short talk and a look at some huge amethysts, it was time to find our own. The children really enjoyed the digging and were pleased with what they found. 
You're allowed to take home an amethyst each as long as it fits into a hand. We booked ahead for this trip about a month before we left as I'd read it can get booked up. It was 200 euros for four of us, that's with two for one for children. After the mine, it was time to warm up in our beautiful log cabin. This was the type of accommodation we wanted for the whole holiday, but sadly we booked too late and they'd either gone or were way beyond our budget. The cabin and every apartment we stayed in had a sauna. Finns love their saunas. Finns also love ice baths. Taking a dip in icy water cut through a hole in the ice and visitors can try it too. Our eldest and his dad tried their own version, throwing themselves in the snow naked after a sauna. Which was great until... Yes, this is the face of a man who realises he's locked out in the Arctic with his son naked. After five long cold minutes, which felt like five hours, we were back inside thanks to a lockbox. It was a lovely two hour drive to Levy, where we'd be seeing in the new year. There were official and non-official fireworks going off at midnight on the slopes at zero point. It was a great atmosphere. The ski lift was open until 11.30 that night. Levy has a good nightlife scene with plenty of bars and restaurants. We mainly self-catered for ease and to save money, although the supermarkets are a bit more expensive than the UK. After shopping and dinner, we hope to see a show. Finnish Lapland is one of the best places in the world for seeing the Northern Lights. We downloaded the My Aurora app to help us judge when the chances might be best, but it wasn't always that accurate. If it's a clear night, it's worth popping out to look. I'd love to claim this dreamy footage as my own, but I was busy warming up the children's frozen fingers and wiping blood from my eye. So one thing you don't need to put in your suitcase when you come to Lapland is an ice pack. I'm not sure why I brought this because there's an abundance of snow and ice and I've just used some on my eye after flinging a car door into my face with excitement because I saw the northern lights. We thought we'd drive out of Levy to get some darkness and we saw a grey vertical wispy cloud which is an indication of northern lights. So when I took out my camera, sure enough, bright green. As your eyes adjust, you can see the green as well, but it's much brighter through your camera or your phone. So all in all, apart from the eye, um, a successful evening. The eventful evening was followed by a very exciting morning as we drove 45 minutes to Arctic Snow Village between Levy and the resort of Ulas. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to visit an ice hotel. So here we finally are, and I really hope it lives up to my expectations. Each year, around 20 million kilos of snow and 300,000 kilos of natural ice are used to build the snow village, with its spectacular suites, ice restaurant and bar. This year's theme of tourist attractions was great for us, and the boys love trying to guess the country. It cost 19 euros for adults and 11 for children which we thought was good considering the amount of work that goes into creating the place every year. But tours from Levy cost from 75 euros an adult. In previous years there was a snow castle in Levy, but it didn't open while we were there. The highlight of the snow village for the boys was the ice slide, and the highlight for us was the ice bar. The snow village was even better than I hoped. Another bucket list activity for us was husky sledding. We wanted to ensure it was with a responsible company and two were frequently recommended in Levy. I'll put the links in the description below. We went with Tundra so that we can mush ourselves. It was a great experience, but don't underestimate how cold it can get. Wrap up as much as you can and I definitely give children hand and foot warmers. After the ride, you have the chance to meet the dogs and learn more about them. But for these two huskies, the meeting was a little awkward rude. It was an expensive trip costing 100 euros per adult and 80 per child but it was a once in a lifetime activity for us. We also met the reindeer. Another option for feeding reindeer is at K5 hotel where you can buy reindeer food for 7 euros. You can do reindeer rides in Levy but we thought our boys might find it too slow. For a bit more speed you could try ice karting. Sadly our boys were too young. So we headed to Arctic Circle Snowmobile Park, where our eldest had a short ride on a snowmobile, which he loved, at a cost of 20 euros. Meanwhile, our youngest fed reindeer there for free. 
We opted not to do snowmobiling as a family because it can get extremely cold and the children would have been in the sleigh. After a night of heavy snowfall, it was time to ski. It's a chilly minus 18, but I've got my heated gloves and socks on and plenty of layers. Levy is one of Finland's most popular ski resorts, boasting 44 slopes and 28 lifts. And there's something really exciting about skiing above the Arctic Circle. It's really great for beginner skiers. Zero Point, which is very central, and South Point, which is a little further out, both have areas that are free for children to practice skiing. The kids' area at South Point has magic carpets. There are sledging areas which usually have spare sledges. And you can warm up by the fire and eat your snacks or lunch. South Point even has paid for daycare facilities where young children can go while you ski. You can hire ski equipment from both points or use a rental shop in the centre. For a three-day ski pass, we paid around 130 euros per adult and 80 euros for our eldest child. As our youngest was under six, he went free. We found South Point to be much better for the skiing that we wanted to do. A really nice progression of slopes from nursery through wide blues up to reds. And some cheeky off-piste at the side of the slopes. For our first week, the weather was quite mild, even rising to zero. But our ski days were quite cold. We found hand and foot warmers essential. Just remember to expose them to the air for long enough. It's not just in the kids' ski area that you'll find a coater. A barbecue hut to warm you up, toast marshmallows and grill pre-cooked sausages. It's pretty special and unique to have such shelters on the slopes where you don't feel the pressure of buying a pricey drink. We also use Dakota when visiting frozen lakes and on walks in the forest. You can spend a lot on activities in Finland, but you don't have to. There are some beautiful walks, sledging, just playing in the snow is fun for all the family. I think. So if we've tempted you to visit this magical land, how do you reach it? There are direct flights to Rovaniemi from a number of UK airports. We couldn't find direct flights to Kitlia Airport, a half hour drive to Levy, but that might change. Be sure to track your flight prices and ideally find out when the flights are released. We booked on release day with EasyJet and paid around 850 euros, which is a fairly good price for four people and two cases. You could also fly to Finland's capital Helsinki and then fly to Lapland from there or get the train, the Santa Claus Express. We love the freedom DIY travel brings, but you are on your own if there's a problem. If you don't fancy DIY and the price of the Lapland Santa brakes make you really in horror, then there is another option. You could book a ski holiday to finish Lapland. You don't have to ski. This gives you the protection of a package holiday, but at a more reasonable price than a Santa break. These are usually for seven nights. Swedish Lapland is another option for DIY. Usually a bit cheaper than Finnish Lapland, but offers most of the same activities. You might struggle to see Santa though but you could do a combined trip taking in Swedish and Finnish Lapland. One thing that can really make or break your Lapland trip is having the right gear. We had temperatures from zero to minus 30 when we were there, so you need to be prepared. And that's why Family Tripping will be making a separate video on what to wear and pack for Lapland. So please hit subscribe to get notified about that and our other travel tip videos. We spent 1,400 euros each on our 11 night trip and that figure includes absolutely everything. Had we planned ahead more, we could have cut that cost too. Try to travel after Christmas and if you can go outside of school holidays, then you're on to a winner. To really get the most out of your trip, go for as long as you can. Lapland has so much to offer. It's not just about Santa, which is why it's still a magical place to go at any age. But let's keep it real for a minute. There'll always be a little whinging wherever you are. He threw a snowball right at my face. Just straight in the middle. Well, well it was a no, back of your head. At my cheek twice. Well it, well, it wasn't. No, it was at the back of your head and the cheek. And anyway, you got it straight in the middle of my face. I couldn't see. There was snow all over my face. You might see that on the wind.
You sound like a right pair of whinging elves. Oh, he's a whinging elf. <laughs>